In this video, we are going to prove that the square root of 2 is irrational. So what is the square root of 2? The square root of 2 is approximately 1.4142135623 and it goes on and on and on. So, how do we prove that this number is actually irrational? So we're going to use a proof by contradiction. So what does that mean? That means that we're going to suppose that the statement we want to prove is false, and then we're going to arrive at some sort of contradiction. So let's start our proof. Let's assume for contradiction that the square root of 2 is rational. Okay, so what does that mean? What do we know about rational numbers? Well, a rational number is any number that we can write as a fraction, right? So that means that we can write the square root of 2 as some fraction m over n, where m and n are both integers, n is not 0, and we'll say that m over n is in lowest terms. So what do we mean by lowest terms? We basically mean that the greatest common denominator or common divisor of m and n is 1. Okay, so this fraction cannot be reduced. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we square this. So we'll take the square root of 2 and square it. And we also want to square m over n. So what does that give us? That gives us that m, that 2 equals m squared over n squared. And now I can multiply both sides by n squared to get 2n squared equals m squared. Now what does that tell me? That tells me that m squared equals 2 times a number. So in particular, this tells me that 2 divides m squared. Now, if 2 divides m squared, then 2 divides m. So I have another video on this where we actually prove this statement. Right? So there's a statement that says, let m be an integer if 2 divides m squared then 2 divides m. So if you want to see the proof of that, go watch the other video. But for now, we'll pretend we already know that. So if 2 divides m squared, then 2 divides m. So that means m is an even number. So therefore, m is even. So if m is even, then we can write it as 2k for some integer k. Okay, now let's substitute that back into 2n squared equals m squared. So we have 2n squared equals m squared, but m is 2k because it's an even number, and this is m squared. So now if we uh, factor this out, we have 2n squared equals 4 k squared, so we can divide both sides by 2 and get n squared equals 2k squared. Now what do you notice? Well, n squared equals 2 times the number, so this tells me that 2 divides 
n squared. And since 2 divides n squared, it follows that 2 divides n. Okay, so that tells me that n is even. Now let's pause. So we have that m is even, which means m is divisible by 2, and we have that n is even, which means n is divisible by 2. However, one of our assumptions was that m over n is in lowest terms, which means that the GCD of m and n is 1. This tells me that the GCD of m and n is at least 2. Maybe we'll say at least 2, right? Therefore, if we keep repeating this, we'll keep getting this sort of divisibility constraint. And so this tells me that the fraction m over n must not have been in lowest terms. So this is a contradiction. And so the statement we started with must not be true. So we were assuming that the square root of 2 is rational, and thus we get the square root of 2 must be irrational. And that concludes our proof. If this video was helpful, feel free to like and subscribe.